Hi everyone, I am Srishti and in this video I will be talking about some of the most common mistakes made by both novices and veteran Python programmers to help you avoid them in your own work. I will be starting with simple errors and then I will be moving towards the ones that are not going to be so straightforward. So let's get started. So this is the first code sculptor program that I have for you and it is completely full of errors. So let's execute it, understand these errors and finally we will try and correct them. So the first one is bad input on line 18 and the reason for this is because it does not understand what capital P R I N T is. So keywords are case sensitive, their spellings and case must be exactly the same as they are supposed to be. So I make this P as small p and I run it again. So the previous error has gone but a new error has cropped up and that is it does not know what A is. So it ne we need to define A. There are no implicit, argue, uh, implicit value that will be assigned to A. So we need to explicitly tell that let A equal to 2. Again run it. Next is it does not know what simple GUI is. So name simple GUI is not defined. So don't forget to import your models modules and that is what I do next. So I import simple GUI. I again run it. So that error has gone and I have a frame that is coming up here. I will just enter a number say 45 and I press enter and I have another error. So it says local variable A referenced before assignment. Now what I had expected here is that it is going to take A as 2. It is going to update the value of a as 4 and it is going to give me 4 times the number that I had entered over here. But what I forgot here is that when I am using a global variable, I need to tell Python that I am about to use, about to manipulate that global variable. So I just write global a over here and I run it again. Again I enter the same number 45, press enter and I have a new error. So this next error says that um, add number and str unsupported operand type so a over here is a number and this is a string and twice is again obviously going to be a number so it can obviously not add a number and a string so i need to convert this number to a string now that's again something that we very often forget but it is extremely important so i make str a and str twice and hope that this error would not crop that crop up again Okay, so I again enter the number 45, press enter and it gives me the output. So this time the output is without any errors. I get 4 times my number that is 45 as 180. A few other things which I have not included in this video but they are extremely important and are a cause of few errors. These are do not forget the colons and always indent correctly and also use parenthesis to call a function irrespective of whether that function takes an argument or not. This code sculptor window contains certain errors related to containers like strings and tuples. So I run it first of all. And I have an error over here which says tuple does not support item assignment. So tuple, tuple is an immutable type and I cannot use this kind of a statement where I am changing its item. So I just comment this out and I hope it will print the tuple in now. So it prints the tuple. But a similar error crops up in case of a string. A string is also an immutable type and I cannot change it. So I comment this statement out too. And it is going to print, this, print the string that is I am immutable. Changing me generates an error. The next one here is this um, for loop which I have printed here. What I am trying to do here is I am trying to get all the elements of the list printed. And I also succeed in doing that. I get monkey, cat, dog, lion, 1, 3, 4 printed. But the problem here is that the list index is out of range. Now this happens because of the plus 1 that I have put here. What happens here is that as the for loop is running, there comes a point of time when this thing, that is test underscore list i, takes a value, i takes a value which is not there. That is, here we have 0 for monkey, cat is 1, dog is 2, lion is 3, and then 4, 5, and 6. So here I get a value 7 and that kind of a thing causes list index out of range. So I need to remove this plus 1 in order for it to work correctly. And let's see what happens now. So now that error has gone. Now in this code sculptor program what I have uh, done is I have uh, talked about basically errors when we are using logic and flow controls. I have defined a function over here def any underscore odd 
it takes a list of integers and it returns true if there is an odd number in the in that list and it is going to return false if there isn't any odd number so at least that is what i want this definition to do this function to do what i am doing here is i am running a for loop it's going to check every item of the list and if it is divisible by 2 it's going to return false that is if it does not contain any odd number and if it is not divisible by 2 then it's going to return true that means it contains an odd number and i've also made a test list here and i'm going to run this now all right so before i am able to run it there is an error over here which is there due to this equal to sign single equal to sign is not used for comparison it is a double equal to sign that you use for comparison so that is the first error that you might encounter all right so now it functions correctly there are there is no error but actually the output is not correct because if you look at this list it definitely contains odd numbers there is 3 5 7 9 and yet i'm getting a false over here so let's just go through this uh, function once again what it actually is doing is first of all it takes two that is the first element and it runs this if else thing that is two person uh, two modulo two is equal to equal to one is it true no it is not true because two is divisible by two so it returns false now when a return statement is executed you automatically come out of that function so what is happening here i come out come out of that for loop and i finally come out of the function as well and that for loop does not get executed for these numbers that is for 3 4 5 it never gets executed it never looks beyond 2 to check if there is any other odd number and therefore i get the wrong answer now the solution to this problem is that i remove this else statement and i also get this return false out of the for loop and i again run it and i get a value true what is happening over here is that first of all this for loop goes for the first element that is 2 it checks whether it is even or odd now it sees that it is an even number therefore this if statement is not executed and it goes for the next item in the list that is 3 now for 3 it sees that 3 is an odd number so this return true statement is executed because the if statement is true and uh, true is returned and you get out of the function and you have two printed over here now i'm going to change this list and remove all the odd elements from it so that we get to know when is false executed and how is it executed so i just remove all the odd numbers and i'm left with 24680 and i expect it to return false and it returns false now what is happening in this case is that when the for loop runs for none of the elements in the list this for loop this if statement gets executed for none of these none of these elements these are not odd and therefore uh, for none of these elements if statement gets executed and finally i come out of the for loop without anything being executed and i return false because nothing has been executed means there was nothing in that list which was an odd number and therefore i return false so whenever you are uh, making programs where you are using logic and flow controls if and else is there are two things which you might keep in mind which might be helpful for debugging as well as to avoid any mistake one thing that you can do is that you can go through the entire program and you try to visualize what will happen for different values this is what we did over here by printing by taking the test list to be uh, a list of all the even integers that is the way we got to know that when does that return false gets executed so for different values we can just try and understand it what the program is doing another thing is that whenever there are return statements and you are using if and else you must ensure that there is not a premature exit like it was happening in the first uh, version of this any underscore odd function now in this code scraper program i have made an infinite loop and i'll run it first of all i'm not getting any output okay so i finally get an error program exceeded run time limit so what has happened over here is this was an infinite loop code sculptor has a feature that it is not going to let you run something for an extremely lo uh, long time because that is going to hang the web browser that you're using so therefore it means that i have done something wrong over here and the thing that i have done wrong is that i've used an infinite loop i make x equal to 1 and i put the condition that while x is less than 2 print this and increment the value of count but i don't increment x anywhere so x is equal to 1 x always remains less than 2 
and this statement gets executed again and again again and again for an infinite amount of time now in code sculptor we have this feature of uh, generating this error but in actual python you won't be having this feature and it might happen that you will never be able to figure out what is happening so whenever you are you are using while loops please ensure that you are not actually generating an infinite loop and the variable count over here gives me the value of the number of times this statement has executed which is 1401 so what actually i should have done here is that apart from incrementing count i should have also incremented x so it should have been x plus equal to 1 and i run it again and this time i just get it executed once all right so this is not an infinite infinite loop any longer now here is another program with errors i first of all executed and says test1 is not defined now this was an error which i encountered when i was working on blackjack i defined hand class deck class all those classes and before their definition that is the thing what i have done here i created my underscore hand my underscore deck and i executed the program i had done everything correctly and yet i was getting a similar error and i spent quite a considerable amount of time thinking where had i gone wrong and it was only after spending some good amount of time did i understand that what mistake i had made so the mistake that has been made here is that i have used this class test1 before its definition so when the compilation and the running is taking place everything goes from the top to down and it goes and it says okay a equal to 10 time is 23 and then it encounters this statement testing equal to test1 now it does not know what test1 is because test1 is going to be encountered in the future time and therefore before you have made your class if you uh, use that class to make an object it is not going to work so this statement should not come here instead it should come after the class this and this kind of a mistake i think is common because we have a habit of declaring our global variables initially itself and that is what actually i did i declared my global variable my underscore deck initially itself and that was what created the error so i again execute it and i have another error over here that is in it takes at most three arguments four are given so i have actually given three arguments here but it says four are given because there is one argument that gets passed on implicitly that is the self argument and inside this init function i have not written self so that is the problem that i am facing so i just say self and i put a comma okay i run it again and it does nothing so hopefully this statement is right i put on another statement that is i want to print testing and i run it now i have another error and there is a similar error for str also that is i have not put self over here i again run it and now it gets printed i have 1 2 4 these were the numbers that i had given so these are the two errors that you might encounter when you are working with classes and objects now this one is the last program with errors it contains by far the most dangerous and one of the most subtle bugs that you can make in python and it is caused by use of mutable objects as default parameter values or class variables so i have a function over here and uh, it basically makes a list out of the elements that we supply to it so it takes a value and uh, then there is if we don't supply any list to it then it takes it as an empty list that's a default parameter that it takes and finally it appends that value to that list and prints it so when we run we have hello hello world hello world you are beautiful printed so the first thing is uh, correct i supplied hello and it gets added to the empty list and finally i have hello but in the second case what should have actually been printed would be world but there's an extra hello which gets added and in the third case hello and world are two elements which are extra to the list the issue here is that the default value for function parameters gets evaluated at function time and as list object is they are mutable lists are mutable therefore they allow you to change the value so you keep having the same default object for every function call 
so what i am doing over here is the first time i use this function i add hello to the list and when the second time and the third time i am using that function the default variable is no longer an empty list but in the second case it's a list which contains hello and in the third case it's a list which contains hello and world both the elements present so when you modify it and you return it back what happens is that uh, the default values they change and this change that is made by the caller it gets reflected in the list inside the function and that is the reason why i have these things printed so the solution to this problem is to make uh, to change the default value so i make it none and what i do inside the function is that if l is none then make it an empty list so if l equal to equal to none then in that case we are going to make l as an empty list and the rest of it stays the same and i run it again and now it gets printed the way i want it so the first time i call this function it makes a list with hello the second time there is world and the third time you are beautiful so those were really a large number of errors that we went through and i want to make a clarification here that i add these errors intentionally for educational purpose and these programs are by no means an indicator of how good or bad i am at python really i'm not that bad i hope you had fun watching this video and you found it useful thank you